Hello, my name is Ron Frizzard, and this is the fourth part of a five-part series on how to pack a pump with mechanical packing. This episode, we are going to cover cutting, inserting, and tightening pump packing. Sometimes, bad habits that are developed when cutting packing rings can start at a plant and can severely limit packing performance. Training and education will help prevent bad maintenance practices and provide understanding of the importance of this task. Unacceptable practices for cutting packing rings can be handed down from technician to technician because it is hard to see the effect that it has on the sealing failure of the equipment. The most accurate way to cut packing rings is to use a mandrel that is the exact size of the shaft. By taking the mandrel and placing it in a vise and wrapping the packing around it, an accurate length can be determined for the packing ring. The ring shall either be cut on the mandrel at a 45 degree angle for a skive cut or a 5 degree angle almost straight cut for a butt cut. Check the insulation instructions of the packing manufacturer for the correct cutting type required by the application. Rings should be held tightly on the mandrel but not stretched. When cutting skive joints, a miter box should be used so that the each successively ring can be cut at the same correct angle. After each ring is cut, it should be wrapped around the mandrel as a double check to ensure that the ends adjoin with each other. This is similar to a go-no-go -no -go gauge. Skillfully cutting rings with a mandrel does take some practice. Focusing on the ends result where the rings fitting on the mandrel with no gap will quickly provide a feedback loop to perfect the practice. Each style of packing will pull around the mandrel slightly differently, so it's important to make sure each ring comes together perfectly. Cutting packing will always result in some waste. This could be rings that are too long or short, but also can be rings whose ends have unraveled or blossomed to the point at which they could result in a leak path. One of the easiest ways to sidestep errors in cutting is to order cut rings from the packing supplier. Besides no scrap, there is also a considerable time savings from not having to cut the rings. The drawbacks to using cut rings everywhere is having good documentation of the actual size of the packing beforehand to know what to order. Before installing the rings, it is a good idea to look at the bolts and make sure they are in good condition and do not have any corrosion or spots on the threads where the nut can't travel. Make sure a flat washer is used to make sure we are going to get a good smooth surface to tighten against with the bolt. Now we're going to install pump packing. One important point has to do with tamping the rings into the stuffing box. Packings need to be seated into, the, into its right location and by just using the gland nose, you can't get the first couple of rings into the exact location in the stuffing box. This is where a tamping tool is used to make sure the packing is pushed into place. Without a tamping tool, rings will bunch up and cause serious performance issues before the packing will shift in the stuffing box. Some packings have a specific installation orientation. For example, dual pack technology has two types of fibers braided together. For extrusion prone areas, the packing will be flipped 90 degrees to put the more durable fiber against the gaps. After installing each ring and tamping them into place, the gland should be pushed against the top ring and the bolts should be tightened finger tight. Now we are ready to start the pump and we will be discussing that in the next video. Thank you again for watching and if any questions, feel free to reach out and get a hold of me or my team. Thank you very much.